Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Svartalfheim. And I just tamed up another R. Serato. This one's a female. She was a 232. So, uh, look. Oh. Hold still, you drunk idiot. Alright. And, so, something I noticed right as I was uh, getting into the game today is that... Uh, you know what, I'm going to grab some stuff along here. Uh, Prehistoric Beasts uh, just updated. And one of the things in the update is that the Pyroraptors can no longer be cloned. I have a feeling that I might have had something to do with that. Um, you can clone them, uh, but they don't come out as a phoenix. They come out as a regular Pyroraptor. Which, you know, is understandable. Because the whole mechanic and everything, yeah, it makes perfect sense, but... uh. Yeah, I know that like, like Krista occasionally comments on my videos, so I have a feeling that uh, I was probably part of that. And but since Prehistoric Beast just updated, I went ahead and I did a Dino wipe. My God, six thousand damage. And so that way we might be able to actually find the Kula. I'm not sure. It's an amphibian, right? But yeah, uh, Kula Sukus is the basically the last of the ten Spondids. And, uh, lineage of amphibians, I mean, the giant predatory amphibians from, you know, way back when, uh, Permian, early Triassic, and, uh, Kulasukas made it to the Cretaceous and Australia, so. Kind of cool to see, you know, a creature show up. And... It's a bit unfortunate with the name, though, because they named it Kulasukas, and Sukas is, like, Basically, crocodile or crocodilian. Oh, and I did get the. Uh... Oh, hey, you gave me an egg. Cool. Uh, yeah, the office from last episode. Oh, there's another Serato down there. They are. Uh... That Stratosaur almost killed that Nasudo. That's a 2 3 2 Nasudo. Huh. Do you have any good stats? Uh, 43 points into weight. What's your weight stat? Because this is my bread up. 56, okay. It might come out better. I need to wait for that thing to heal now, though. Alright, let's get you parked. Alright. And nothing else. I'm going to grab these Sago Lilies out. So that we can toss them in here. That way I can feed my other Nasudo as well. The egg away, but the control egg away. And should probably go ahead and decant my Avis. That way I can, you know, start getting wool. Actually, here, that's an idea. Uh take one. There we go. Lethal's reusable has uh, reusable scissors. I don't know what I'd need wool for, actually. There's really not much that requires exactly wool. Actually, is there anything that requires just wool in regular arc? I know that, like, in the Hunted mod, uh, you needed wool for uh, different saddles and whatnot. I think it was a tier 4 or 5 saddle. I, I think tier 5 saddle. Let's go ahead and get our uh, Serratos breeding here. And... Something else I found is... Loot crates, right? Okay, there's two purples over there. Let me grab my rock drake. But get your head out of my way. Your head's way too damn big. Uh, up until now, I've been getting, like, uh... Pelagornis and whatnot blueprints in the drops, you know, flyers. Which, you know, there's no flyers on this map. The only flyers I've seen are Dirk. That's a modded flyer, so that's understandable, right? And I found, by going through the discussions on the uh, Svartalfheim uh, Steam work page, I found, uh, yeah, Google Talk that 
basically gives you the replace commands for all the saddles. So you just have to copy and paste them into your game.ini. And it'll swap out what drops in supply crates. So that way we should not be getting any more flyer saddles or giga saddles, which I haven't got any of those yet anyway, so. That tells me that there's... Can you get up there? Thank you. Uh, no gigas on this map. Let's check out up here since we're here, right? That is a tech inky, and then we're already on fire. All right. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, hey, the drop's in the right spot this time. Nice. Actually, up here where it belongs. The first time I've ever seen this. But one of the things we can do now, too, uh, thanks to those codes, is we should be able to get our hands on Denonicus Saddle Blueprints. Which sounds great, actually. Um, all right. I knew I saw somebody moving. Oh, you jerk. Go check out this uh, Tech Yankee. Oh, you're only in 96, okay. Alright, is there a drop up here now? Uh, no. Okay. But, um, uh, yeah, so we should be getting better saddles, more useful saddles than, my god, the Anzus. I just did a Dino Wipe, because, well, I, like I mentioned, the Kulasukas is now spawning. And, uh, yeah, all those guys just, when they spawned in, they all laid eggs. I'm not sure if a Dino Wipe's going to get rid of the nests or not, though. It'd be handy if it did, but I'm not sure if that's a thing or not. Okay, back up. Too far. And... Dodecker Saddle, okay. But there was like, uh, I think it was 11 different codes I had to paste in. And I say code, I mean, it's, yeah. It's just a lot of codes all at once, but it's broken up into sections by different types of drops, so. Hello, Ceratosaur. Oh, 80, okay. And that's a regular one, so. Okay. Now, can we do something about the Diplo saddles? Actually, I could. Now that I have the access to the codes, I was looking at it and it's like, okay, that's how you do it. And, you know. So I can actually swap out stuff like that if I wanted to. I may make some codes for personal use for in the future that make blue drops useful and get rid of, you know, the water jars and. The, you know, smithies, all the foundry smithies, all those. Foundry. Uh, Finding Forge. Only one aloe? That is really weird. Oh. Okay, whatever. It's in the terrain. Okay, we're on the world border. Let's not play with that. Last thing I want to do is actually end up through the world border and lose my Drake and lose my character and all my stuff and all that. 896 Pullman of Scorpus. You, my friend, are going to be an experiment. Hey. Pretty sure this doesn't work, but a single dart to find out. Nope. Okay. Dang it, I got rabies already. Freaking level are you, you stupid bat. Only a 160. Wow. Single shot for rabies. That's, yeah, great. Ah, there we go. There's the drop. 
And I'm just going to throw those in the ground. Can I not break that tree? I guess not. Hello, Chunky Boy. And there goes the Mapu. <laughs> That is a 928 R throw. Thing had way too much health. Okay, do we have another drop over here, maybe? It's weird that rock tricks can't break these trees. Well, carnivores can't break these trees. Yeah, there's another drop. We'll take care of the spiders first. Okay. Oop. So I'm guessing I need to go to the swampy area, though, for the Kulusukas. Oh, we got a ways to go yet. All right, so some breeding later, I've got an imprinted Carno or Carno Serato, and we are say a good chunk of the map away. We are about halfway up, just heading straight north from my base. Well, there's no straight any direction on this map, but swampy area. And I hope to God there's not an overspawn of Spinos again. It supposedly was fixed a while ago. Last time I was here, there was about 40 Spinos just all over the place. You're an X, but you actually have the resistance. Well, that's something else a Stratosaur can do is if you look in a direction, they have like the, the Sarko turn mechanic. Is handy. You get that thing away from me. Oh, God. And the damage I get, or the, uh, the health I get back, seems to be related to my health. So, wow. Okay, that was uh, definitely worth doing there. This Serato's got a higher uh, health stat than my other one, and we're doing 57 on a heal rather than... Wow, oh, that didn't last long. Uh, rather than 50. Kind of a cool ruin in here. There's freaking dwarves here, really? Did I just break that crystal with my horn? Like, I didn't harvest anything out of it, but it... Something just broke there. Hey. So what is around here that there's dwarves? Just, just a random pack of dwarves or something? Oh, you jerks. Yeah, there's more, more ruins here, so. Come on, turn. Thank you. Kind of curious, can I? Nope, okay. That must have been one I broke with some mushrooms. Okay. 
Yeah, look real close to the uh, blue crystals that you find around the map. Another X Dinosuchus. Yeah. I'll pass for now. Oh, you jerks. You always set me on fire. I'm already half health down. <laughs> it's just like... Not where I wanted to be right now. Yeah, let's go ahead and actually give us more health too. Alright, that took a while. Good news is I haven't gotten dwarfed again, so... And... What is with this place? Just... There's that Dinosuka still. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm not getting attacked by the dwarves anymore either, so... Hello, Spino. Yeah, 60 health now that I bumped my health up. Okay, so yeah, the higher max health, the better. At least when it comes to the healing, right? It's very handy just being able to knock these trees over. Alright, we're out of the swampy area, so. It's always fun. Oh, Spino. Sweet, that's like, what, three Spino sales so far? Yeah, nice. That helps. Ow. <laughs> Uh, the gigabyte and the bleed doesn't help matters either. Sealed 108 off of that. Nice. So it might be affected also by the resistance of the target. Because, you know, X creatures have that resistance built in. Is that a parasaur? Oh, it was a berry. Okay. So as near as I can tell, that tail swipe kind of replaces the horn attack at times. I'm not sure exactly what the... You? I heard that. Freaking leeches. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why it does the replacement, but it does, so... Okay, so if I look to the side, maybe? Oh, okay, that's what it is. If I look back. And it rotates you. Nice, look at that. So, yeah, that's a way to spin around real quick, too, and get enemies off your butt. So you have that, or you can just turn and bite. Nice. There are no more leeches coming out? Okay. Huh. You know what? I actually want to keep that. Use that to make kibble with. Uh, throw that out as well. Tell you what, you... You stay here for now.
All right, and... What the hell? Oh, that's my power raptor. Okay. Like, what's making that noise? <laughs> kind of a cool cave. I like this. Doesn't look like there's anything down here, though. I haven't really checked the water though either, but it doesn't look like it's all that deep, so. You were a good place to get silk though. You know, if I had a creature on me that could harvest silk. Um, hmm. That was the entrance there. Nothing there. And... Yeah, it looks like it's just a... just a room. And there's no enemies or well, creatures of any kind down here, actually. All right, so we're just kind of hanging out in the swamp here. Uh, not too far away from the ruins. They're right just on the other side of those mushrooms. <laughs> There's dead bodies on the ground. Check these for anything, can I? No. Definitely a good sign, though, that there are uh, dwarves around. That's when you come across those guys. But yeah, I went back through the swamp. Uh, basically, I've killed everything in the swamp at this point. And no Kulusukas. Mine now. It's not like the best way of getting fish meat, but it works. All right. Um. Yeah, there's the ruins right there. So came back and I got attacked again by more dwarves. So they respawn fairly quickly too. It's like. And it seems like everything aggro's on the Ceratosaur. Which means it doesn't like, classify as a larger carnivore. Oh, hey. Hello. Did I not get your bag? I mean, my guy's got a lot of weight. <laughs> it's one thing I noticed is Ceratosaurs have a ton of weight. There's another, you know, bonus to them, you know, being a good mount to run around on. And now we're out of the swamp as well. Okay, let me... Oh, Simon face first into the world border. Yeah, that works. Um, here's more swamp. Hey, it's Venenosaur. Sweet. Yeah, even Capros like will come after the uh, the Ceratosaur, So.
All right. Um, not really seeing a lot on this side either. Is you are coming with me though? Or at least your meat's coming with me. Well, that's ominous as hell. <laughs> I'm just strolling through here and there's freaking... Okay, yeah. Oh, well, that's definitely a bayou, that's for sure. Alright, um... Yeah, I have not seen any of the new guys yet, though. We should be checking other types of water too. Like they might actually be like a river rather than a uh, a swamp. There we go. That should be enough for kibble for now. Oh, they don't swim half bad either. Can we... There we go. And nothing behind the waterfall? Hello, Diplo. Just random Diplo on a cliff. Ah. There is a thing here, though. Like a vault or whatever. Giant chains hanging from the ceiling. Giant dwarves. Well, dwarf statues anyway, right? I know it's supposed to be a broken chain, but for God's sakes, that looks like a meat hook. <laughs> it really does. Uh, after seeing what was in the tree earlier. Yeah. Actually, I wonder. It would be really silly, but I wonder if these guys can get a honey. Mm, no. Nope, no honey. Okay. Alright, so yeah, kind of cool point of interest up there, but that's about it. Freaking world border again. Well, at least I can't get cap road off the back of this guy. Okay, I'm, right now I'm experimenting with, so maybe over 15% and we actually do the slide. 13, 13 again, 16, okay, no. 17% or higher and you end up sliding to stop. Gotcha, okay. Hello, what are you? Male, okay. 
Okay, we got an Aranosaur over there. Where are we exactly now? Okay, we're heading back south, it looks like, but along the world border. That area there kind of looks like it might go up and over and through. And galley. Okay, yeah, it was only 2,000. I wasn't going that fast, though, either. Blood. Uh That's right, sort of stare. Too busy staring at the butt of the shallow Ethereum there. I was charging and I only did 2,000 with that one. Wow. I mean, it's still bonus damage, but it's not as much as I thought it would do. I mean, I hit that thing earlier for, was it 7,900 on the Stratosaur? Yeah, and here's the entrance of the swamp. This is where I started this clip at, so. Let's go to the Redwoods. Yeah, you're not catching me. I need a speedometer. Is there an alpha around here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, the tail swipe doesn't seem to do that much damage, but it has a good amount of knockback. And there's another opening here. There's nothing behind it, though. Okay. <sighs> All the rocks to get stuck on. All right, so Gigantopithecus and launch. Didn't even take that much fall damage. Nice. Yeah, we're at the Redwoods. Thronax, yeah. I do actually want to tame up some like Thronax. That was weird. I think the Stratosaur shows up as, like, Dilo-sized or something. I took no fall damage there, but it's probably because I bounced off a tree, so... Like, everything wants a piece of me, though. It's just like... Ugh. It's not a moment's of peace here. Dang it. Didn't realize the other end of this uh, hollow tree was buried in the ground, so...
All right, so this is the little lake in the redwoods, and Terrapur's just out for a swim here, huh? I believe there's actually a cave in here. There's otters there anyway. Yeah, right there, there's cave entrance. I just see, is that Alpha Glow or is that Stratosaur? That is a Berserk Phyla. Okay then. Um, I like the damage we're doing right now, actually. 30k health? Yeah, that's probably good, actually. We'll just, uh, do that. Get rid of some stuff. And, yeah, I don't need that pick either. Okay. Yeah, we got a little bit of ammo off the guy. But more hook claws. Probably gonna need those. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what all drops I need. But uh never hurts to have more apex drops. Oh god, I forgot how good these guys are at swimming. Alright, come on, load the cave. Thank you. Hey, we got a drop. And if I actually remember, this is either... Yeah, I'm not taking those. Yeah, I have to go up there. No, it's either bring a Denonicus in here, a Thyla, or you're going on foot. Uh, Megalania would be pretty good, I guess. Spider would be good, too, if I had one, but... No. X marks the spot. That wasn't there the last time I was here, so I'm... Wondering if it was added uh, due to feedback. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going down there. I'm not testing that at all. Okay. Excuse the hell out of you. <laughs> You know what? You're not worth it. Actually, you know what? I, I've got a crossbow here. Hey. <laughs> I triggered a trap and it spat out uh, spiders and snakes at me. Oh, yes, this part. All right, and there's... Oh, yeah. Here is... Right? No. Okay, actually, no, this is... We look through the wall, right? Actually, no, there's nothing on this one. Okay, I thought this was... Basically, it was just like a collapsed portion of the cave that led to where I was earlier, but I guess not. Here we go. Ah, here we go. This is... Uh, Minting paste. Nice. I'm not going to say no to that. Well, you had a bad day, didn't you? Like a weird otter. Okay, the otter's here. That cat. <laughs> and artifact of the masses. Sweet. It's a pretty short but sweet cave. It's got some traps in it. That's about it. So, um, I hear that. There is a drop around here. Up there, I bet. 
Hey, I was right. Ooh. I need fur, actually. I do wonder what's going on with the bodies, though, right? Like, what in here killed these guys? Seriously. Nope, nothing behind them. Nothing behind. Yeah, it looks like you were heading this way when you died, and the other guy was running away. But, like, there's no traps here, so I have no idea. And... Yep, the spider's still down there. Okay. Heard that crossbow as well. So I think happens is if you park quarter there, you'll get shot, knocked off, fall down into the water, and then it drops snakes and spiders on you. All right. Um, do 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 do. There you are. Oh yeah, you can't crap on these games. Okay, that's fine. And unloading the cave, loading in the real world. It's gonna take a while, it's gotta load the world map again. There we go. Freaking. I can't even grapple here, what the hell? There we go. Finally, no longer glitched into the floor. And more loading. Come on. Okay. Oh, that's... Yeah, you don't even have a head. Neither do you. Okay, that's, yeah, there's, uh, it's a few disconcerting things on this map, that's for sure. Come on. Yep. Now, where did I leave my serrata? Oh, all the way over there, okay. All right, well, wasn't here either. I was hoping large body of water in the redwoods might have it, but. Hmm. All right, well, made it back to base. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode, though. It's probably getting a little bit on the long side. We'll resume our uh, hunt for the Kulasukas next episode. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until the next. This is Science signing out. Have fun.